a reading of the National Enquirer about the Scientology issues, published May 4th, 2015. Opening to page 30, starts the article. I'm going to keep it on this page as I read and give my commentary on the article itself. Scientology touts its imposing celebrity center in Hollywood as a place for famous members. With the power and vision to create a better world to gather together, sorry, but for the movie and television stars who step inside the massive seven story building, a replica of the seventeenth century Finch Normandy Castle, it's actually a chilling house of horrors. Hence the picture of one of their buildings. This is a blockbuster finding of the world-exclusive investigated conducted by the National Enquirer that reveals the brainwashing, harassment, and torture inflicted on cult-like religion, A-list a members by its leaders. Scientology has scared the lives of its top celebrity members and even others who have considered joining, reveal one church whistleblower. Jerry Spring Seinfeld, which is here, and Russell Crowe realizes what the church was about and ran like hell after they toyed with becoming members. The tragic star from Superman, Christopher Reeves, smartly abandoned ship after he was hooked up to an emir. Uh, for those who don't know, they reference a ship because the Scientologist founder had to um, do his last level of the OT scale, which is their level of getting into their heaven, which um, they don't call heaven, but in any case, they that's if you're referring it to a Christian standards, it's their form of heaven. You have to go up a bridge, which has eight levels, and the last level is always done on a ship. They do that because there is no governing laws and the open ocean and they can practically do whatever they want to the members and teach them whatever they want without repercussions from any country and the e-meter is a thing that they do the auditing on the individuals for which is kind of like a lie detector machine but is a little less uh, reliable they just hold these two they call them tin cans and the these wires um basically look at their charge of energy that everybody has in them of negative and positive protons and every time you say something or you think something supposedly the needle on the machine tells them whether they're lying or they are resolved of that issue and whatnot in any case the e-meter a crude lie detector used by Scientologist auditors added the source the inform the informant added, but others who have stayed with have been less fortunate and seen their lives destroyed. The King of Queens star, which they don't have a picture of, well they do here. The King of Queens star, actress Liam Rhyme, suffered through vicious hate crime campaign when she defected in 2013 after disagreeing with some of the controversial church practices and policies. She found out about the RPF, which is the jail for somebody who is in Scientology. They basically send you to a labor camp and because they find you have done something or said something that offends the church. And by doing that, you are made to work hard labor for many, many hours, and you are made to study for up to five hours or, or more of Scientology stuff with brainwashing involved. And then they only limit your sleep to anywhere from, there's been reports as little as two hours to as much as six hours of sleep a night. And with sleep deprivation, and this is over long periods of time because someone doesn't just go there for like, a day or two or even a week people are in there for months and even years um, but in any case they Liam Rhymes went to a ceremony where the David Miscavige the leader of the church his wife was not present and she should have been and when Leanne asked David Miscavige directly he basically said 
you know, he didn't say any response. He ignored her and walked away. So she filed an official report saying that he was out of ethics, meaning he broke his own Scientology rules, even though he's the leader. And because of that, they started trying to put her into the RPF and they tried to, you know, basically threaten her into repulling the report and saying it's not true. She did not. And she stood her ground. She filed a missing persons report on his own wife. And lo and behold, they she left. And the Church of Scientology took all of the auditing reports that she did with the e-meter and went public with the information. And basically, she has, in my opinion, um, has won because she... The people who are not in Scientology don't give a crap. And the stuff that they revealed was nothing that was confirmed and or enough to make me think that she was a horrible person. She's a normal person with everyday problems. And just because all of her stuff was released at one time doesn't mean that anybody else who has their information, if you were to put your life out into a blog or a symbol, you know, all the negative stuff about you, you would be just as bad and I'm not saying everybody's like that but in any case that's my view on her particular situation back to the story until then she and another devout Scientologist Christy Alley there's Christy Alley in the top right had been close pals but after Leah left Christy lashed out on Twitter posting a message about losing someone she thought was my friend and added I know it's a little blurry, but she added fuck em, and they blurred out, as you can see in the paper, that they blurred out the fuck part of fuck em. But on Twitter, and uh, you know, I'm sure you can pull old feeds, it actually says fuck em, referring to her friendship with Leah. So, back to that. But the former cheer star is one of many top actress factoring, facing possible retribution if she were to ever defect sources say because again she's been audited for many 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 years i think it's been like 30 years while scientologist denies keeping dirt keeping dirt files audio or video recording of its members during auditing sessions which they have done um, that has been well documented by many ex-members including high-ranking members the equivalent of the Catholic Church confessionals, a source said, Christie is taped being because Scientology has all her personal secrets and can use them for blackmail. And that's why they tape and record everything that you say in one of these auditing sessions, irregardless of how low ranking you are or high ranking you are. But the more high ranking people have more uh, specialized reports on exact wordings and things of that nature. The 64-year-old battled cocaine abuse in her past and has been subject to persistent rumors about her sexuality. I did not know Christy Allen was 64. She looks younger than that. Um, good for her. But I know she's been fighting weight battles and things of that nature. Um, and I didn't know anything about the cocaine thing, but that may just be my ignorance. Um, her secrets are kept in a Scientology mountainside vault in New Mexico desert, said the source. That's where the incriminating logs, tapes, and videos are held. Cameron Linnell, an ex-wife Scientologist of Jason Lee, who starred on TV's My Name is Earl, told Inter Entertainment Require... The church harbors a sick obsession with its members' sex lives. Um, I've heard this before with other actors and actresses. Um, I haven't actually read any of the reports from Scientology, but supposedly that's one of the things they hold over their members' heads is if they have any fetishes or anything like that, which if the fetish is, you know, maintained in somewhat of a proper form, there's no reason that you should be ashamed of something that gives you pleasure so long as it's not hurting anybody else or yourself. But no celebrity has come under greater scrutiny about his or her sexuality than 61-year-old John Travolta, which over here is on the top left. Jesse Prince, who claimed he held the church's second highest rank when he left in 1992 after 16 years, told the Inquirer, I can confirm that John Travolta once threatened to marry his boyfriend. There is no question Scientologist has had a lot of John G 
gay activities and used it to keep him from leaving and keep him in line. The problem is, is that John Travolta has been in the church for 40 years or more, and these actors and actresses that have been in the church for decades um, believe that the publications and the things that Scientology are saying is what the common citizens believe and know. And Scientologists do not believe people are gay. They are going back to the regular DSM-3, which says that homosexuality is a illness. And they treat it as such, and it can be cured, which is not the case. That has been disproven in countless scientific studies. Problem is, is that Scientologists are also condemned if they read any of the anything on the internet or anything that goes against their church's beliefs. So their readings and the things that they do online and watch TVs is very censored. And if it isn't, then they get in trouble or they leave the church because they find out the truth. So if he were to come out in public, in my opinion, and it were to come out that he was gay, good for him. Uh, I don't think that the public would have a overwhelming uh, negative reaction to him. If anything, I think it would be more of a positive and people will clamor to his side to help him not continue to hurt him. But that's my own personal opinion on that. So I hope John Dolta does leave. But um, that's looking doubtful. Um, to make a side note, John Tavolta had a son who was autistic. And because of his various illnesses attached with not only being autistic, but he has some other neurological issues like having seizures and things of that nature, he ended up being denied medications that could have saved his life because he is in Scientology. And they do not believe in psychology or anything related to psychology. Um, and his son died because of his conditions. Um, John Travolta was found at no fault, but in any case, that's just a side note. John's wife, actress Kelly Preston, has been kept in a prisoner of the church because they know all the details of her personal life as well, sources say. They say she's kept as a prisoner. I do not know of her being in the RPF um, for sure, but they probably mean it in more of the rhetorical, like when an abused person is prisoner in their own home because even if they try to leave they are in fear of what will happen when they do and the attacker coming back after them because of the threats made towards them john's personal assistant sylvia spanky taylor was even terrorized by the church when her 10 month old daughter was placed in a prison for children after she was questioned by the policies she later fled at the torture chamber and was able to rescue the baby and leave Scientology. This story is told in the movie Going Clear and is also told on YouTube. The torture chamber is RPF that I spoke about earlier. And the prison for children is not necessarily a prison. Basically, the problem is, is that they child care people who were watching the children were unlicensed, untrained uh, Scientologists that were paid 30 cents an hour. If that, um, some of them were paid a lot less than that. They usually went home with about 30 to $50 a week in pay. And they would watch anywhere from 10 to 30 kids in a single room, ranging in all ages. So the children are severely neglected they are required to watch each other there is a book written by an ex-scientologist that covers this um and her childhood of it this book is beyond belief by jenna miss cabbage hill hill is her new married name she is the niece of the current i guess leader of scientology david miss cabbage and she was born and raised in scientology and she talks a lot about where the children are held and how they're treated. So if you want more details about that, this is where you need to go. It's a good read and very informative and very entertaining. One star who hadn't been afraid of cutting ties with the church is Lisa Marie Presley, who broke from Scientology in 2012. Lisa Marie is pictured here on the bottom right. Later, the mom of four cryptically said, I was surrounded by people who were not well intended. I uncovered it and was mind blowing. She was not alone. Ghost star Demi Moore quit her studies with the religion after hooking up with Bruce Willis because he didn't want his future kids raised as a Scientologist. 
and Demi Moore's picture. There we go. Will Smith, which is seen here next to Demi, and his wife Jada. There we go. Had long denied being Scientologists, although they opened a school that followed the teaching methods of the developed by the Scientologist founder L. Ron Hubbard. The school abruptly shut down in 2013, with some students claiming that they couldn't even read when they left the sixth grade. Sources said if they were smart, they forgot they were ever associated with the Church of Scientology. Um, I don't know much about this, but if that is true, then I believe that the school was somewhere in New Mexico, and it was called um, Norigat School, of, which was named after an Indian tribe, but I'm not positive on that. So that's something that if you want to look further into, I'm sure you can, because it, the shutdown date was 2013, according to this article. And now we turn the page, because that was the end of that one, and... I am going to focus in on Tom Cruise's face and read the articles attached with this that continue. How the Church Controls Cruise and His Women David Miscavige acts like Tom's puppet master. Now that Tom's most embarrassing recent uh, secrets are in the hands of Scientology leaders, they have him concerned. While he might serve as a public face of Scientology, a source told the National Enquirer Hollywood megastar Tom Cruise can't escape the abuse orchestrated by the cult-like church in its house of horrors. Although the church denies it, multiple sources claim Scientology's top officials began keeping dirt files on their most prized members in the late 1990s. And the, do the do doozier includes in intimate details of Tom's shame- Sham marriage to Mimi Rogers, Nicole Kidnam, and Katie Holes. Holmes. Sorry, Scientologist leader David, acting as the best man at Tom's wedding to Katie, but in stunning act of apparent betrayal, he then went behind the mission impossible stars back, ordering that Tom's church counseling sessions be recorded without his consent. This is well documented, not only by low members but high members as well all over youtube and the internet and facebook and anywhere you look to keep the actor in line the church throws perks his way according to the d disaffected members for over 20 years the leader had taped tom in a gilded cage by controlling his every aspect of his life from funding his home and providing him with a luxury suv to carry his children and running his finances they even made sure tom has slippers in a cushion built trailer so that the carpet wasn't damaged divulged one source um tom has been heard in their stories about how he is very demanding when he's on certain sets for movies and this may have something to do with scientology and it's not really scientology related but at the same time it is because scientologists um, have been known to surround Tom and work for his every becking call. And then the story goes on to individual wives and girlfriends of Tom. Here is his most recent ex-wife, Katie Holm, and his daughter, Surrey. Scientologists turned Katie's life into a living hell. Soon after the Dawson Creek star was set up with Tom in 2005, she was assigned a mind minder veteran scientologist jessica rogers in a nightmare got even worse after katie became pregnant with her daughter surrey and married tom in 2006. it was hell said the source tom used his family members including his mom mary lee and his sister Cass, to spy on her katie was also ridiculed after biographer andrew morton suggested surrey was actually conceived through artificial insemination using decreased scientology Deceased Scientologist founder L. Ron Hubbard's sperm. That's news to me. <laughs> in a stunning twist, Katie blindsided Tom with the divorce papers in 2012. Over fears, he planned to send Surrey to a Scientologist elite paramilitary unit called the Sea Org. Yeah, the Sea Org's a horrible, horrible organization that makes you sign a billion-year contract. And they do let children do it, and it's just wrong. 
so let's see here. In the stunning twist, uh, three years later, the ordeal continues. Suri hasn't been spotted in public anywhere with her dad since December 2013. According to the insider, it's because the religion considers the nine-year-old a potential trouble source, or PTS, meaning she has information about the church and the inside workings that can be leaked, and they do not. the church of Scientology does not want this child to tell the public or her friends or anything about things that happen within the church, basically. This is about Nicole Kidman, Isabel, and Connor, the two children with Tom that was adopted. Oscar-winning Nicole has been victimized by Scientology in the cruelest way. The church turned her adopted children with Tom against her. Isabel and Connor were brainwashed away from her, said the sources. On a rare occasion, they do see her. They call her Nicole. They never refer to her as mommy or mother. As the couple's bitter divorce dragged on, Nicole's phone were tapped and Tom on Tom's order. In the recent headline grabbing HBO documentary Going Clear, ex-Scientologist Mark, or Marty, Rathabon, a former key A to David, claimed that he was ordered to have Nicole's phone tapped because both Tom and David demanded it. While the church and Tom dis- denied the claim, the allegations also surfaced in court documents that claimed Tom hired notorious private investigators who secretly wrapped Nicole during the pair's 20000 20, 2001 divorce. Tom compromised with, with Anthony Pelkello, private eye to the stars, to surveil Nicole, alleged a $5 million lawsuit fined by magazine editor Michael Davis Spar, who once claimed that the risky business star was gay. Here's another one of Tom's loves, Mimi. Tom's then girlfriend, Meaty, introduced him to Scientology when she was twenty when he was twenty four years old. The Top Gun star married the actress who was ten years his senior in nineteen eighty seven. But Mimi's marital life with Tom was anything but bliss. As questioned about Tom's sexuality's rage, he distanced himself from her, eventually ascending into number three spot in the church hierarchy, behind the late founder L. Ron Hubbard and David said sources. Tom's marriage to Mimi was sabotaged because her father had left the religion. Miss Cabbage encouraged Tom's romance with Nicole to get Mimi out of the picture. The problem with Nicole was Nicole's father is a very well-known um, psychiatrist in um, Australia and because Nicole is Australian and basically that is why the church has issues with Nicole, that's their biggest reason, but they have not come out publicly and said that because that's clear discrimination and they have basically turned her children and alienated her children from her, which is another cruel trick the church has done. The children now are of age, they are both adults, but they still have very little contact with their biological, I'm sorry, their adopted mother and that's just sad that they are so brainwashed into basically destroying in the science church Scientology destroyed their family because of their wishes of the leader. Potential wives. Tom reportedly dumped actress Penelope Cruz in two thousand four because she stunned Scientology shunned Scientology. When he additioned several other Scarlets, including Scarlett Johansson, Jessica Abel, Kate Bosworth, and Lindsay Lohan to be his girlfriend. All these actresses were unwilling and unwittingly ensnared in Scientology's grip, said the source. The church finally found the possible wife in a gorgeous Scientologist, Naeem Badadi, I just butcher her name, an unknown actress. Although the church denied it, the source said that the leader forced her to undergo a makeover, which even had her teeth fix, but Tom almost immediately disliked her. Nazim reportedly infuriated Tom when she suffered from severe menstrual pain during dinner with David. Tom believes she showed disrespect and alleged her to, you don't get it. But after being dumped by Tom, Nazim was forced to clean toilets and toothbrushes as a punishment. She went to the RPF, basically, and that's just wrong. Um, so here are some pictures of people that supposedly they tried to set up with 
Tom Cruise, and here's a picture of Tom Cruise and the leader, David Miscavige. And going to the last article in the paper, page 36, is about Beyonce and Jay-Z, the Scientologist link. They might show up now that their moms wed, wed a church member. Um, this is, I guess, Beyonce's mom here, and apparently she married a Scientologist so they're saying that she, that Beyonce and JC may become Scientologists because of that. Scientologists have married into the family of superstars. Beyonce and Jay Z and their friends are afraid of the mega couple could end up on the next Tom Cruise and John Travolta. The National Enquirer has learned that pals are freaking out over the church finally getting the foothold into the showbiz couple powerful empire. After actor Richard Lawson married Beyonce's mom, Tina. Knowles in on April twelfth abroad a yacht abroad a yacht in California. This was April twelfth, twenty fifteen, mind you. Beyonce is dead set against religion, and was worried her mom was getting sucked into it. A pal said Richard has appeared on everything from soap operas to the occasional blockbuster, including the role of paranormal investigator in the nineteen eighty two horror film The Poltergeist. But the 68-year-old actor has also taken on the occasional real-life role as a Scientologist, as found in the archived copies of the official Scientology publications obtained here in the Acquire. Richard took his, an HQS course at the church 1990 and the Personal Values and Entergy course in 1997. The HQ course is a Hubbard-qualified Scientologist course, which the Scientologist's website describes as a broad introduction to Scientology religious precepts. The value and integrity of the course claims that this shows students how to maintain honesty and personal integrity, plus show how to feel good about yourself and your life. Um, any of these courses that these people take, the first course usually are very, very cheap, ranging anywhere from $25 to $100 for a class that lasts anywhere from a few hours to an entire weekend and but the problem is is that the introductory courses are just that they're to get them sucked in and to fill them with um, new potential members with the wonders and all the good that Scientology is doing and not to say that Scientology is all bad and all evil they do do some good things but after they are indoctrinated into the church that's when the courses go upwards to anywhere from a thousand dollars to five hundred dollars to starting and they can go upwards to ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars depending on the course and the length of the course but um most people cannot afford courses like that and without these courses you cannot move up the bridge to go to their heaven which is not what they call but um that's what i'm referring to for most christians they understand what heaven is in any case the value of integrity course claims to show students how to oh I read that um, uh, maintain honesty and personal integrity plus how to feel good about yourself and your life. Richard is also a dad to actress Beyonce Launce, Launce and the Pretty Little Liars, whose own studies with the church include purification rundown. <coughs> While Beyonce and her family are devoted Christians, the 61-year-old Tina and her husband have attended the string of Scientology's events, with Tina reportedly starting to show interest in the program. Beyonce had previously expressed concerns about Tina's new romance, and the pop princess shocked some members of her inner circle by doubtfully attending her mom's wedding. So she's supporting her mom, but she's very wary, and according to this article, and that is a good thing, Beyonce. Keep up the good work. Um, hopefully, Jay-Z and her will keep their feet firmly on the ground and not get sucked into Scientology. So that was the article run in the Inquirer on the May 4, 2015 edition. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a great day.